Hello everyone, my name is Spanner and welcome to the Night of the Rabbit. This is a brand new game by Data Lake Entertainment, uh, the same company that made the, the Pony series and plenty of other games. Um, I actually saw this one on GOG and I thought it looked kind of cool, so I thought I'd give it a go and record it for the channel, so this is a point and click adventure game and I actually haven't played one of those in a long time, so let's get started, shall we? Yes, I really want to start a new game. I started one just a couple of minutes ago just to see if everything was working, so let's start a new game for real this time. And on we go. And so it begins. My apprentice's finest hour. If only I had been there, I could have prevented it all. Okay, we are now in control. Uh, let's see what's this. A stranger can guide you through the mists, a strange glade, a legendary tree, a figure dressed in black, and a traveler's case. How mysterious. Some little figures here on the side, don't really know what these are. Uh, okay. So, oh, resume game. Okay, so apparently I am a giant humanoid rabbit. Okay, I guess I can... Oh, is that a mouth on my cursor? Can I talk to this guy? Odd figure, let's just see if there's anything else here. Maybe not. Can I go here? No. Can I go across here? No. Okay, anything else on the screen? Doesn't appear to be so, okay. Let's talk to the odd figure. Oh, who are you? I am a giant Can you not rabbit. Apparently not. Hmm, does that mean you don't know? Are you lost? Well, I am kind of lost. I'm in a very foggy place. Yeah, I am lost. Oh, so you're looking for the beginning of your story. If we can find you a beginning, you'll know where to go from there. <laughs> you have no idea how lucky you were to cross my path. I know a lot about stories. I hope you aren't just here to steal one of mine. You aren't, are you? All right. To find your beginning, we must look for something that feels like once upon a time. Follow me. So you can actually move? Okay, well, well, he can talk, so it's probably no surprise that he can also move. But he kind of teleports it. There you are. Now we just have to find your beginning. Even if you lose yourself, beginnings can be found anywhere. And only those who start can find their way. And you will recognize it. A beginning smells like the air in spring and the hope for more. A beginning is... 
I think you already know. Endings, on the other hand, well, we can worry about those later. Do you understand? So I can talk again, apparently. I think I do. If I press no, maybe he'll repeat everything again and... I don't really want that. Uh, okay, yes, I understood clearly. Really? It's been a long time since I've met someone with such a keen intellect. <laughs> what the... <laughs> Did you hear something? Yes, a giant lizard just left. The fog must be playing tricks on my imagination. It's gotten cold, don't you think? Follow me. Oh, he's on the other side now. Is there, is there anything here? Uh, no. I like how this guy walks, though. Just the hands across his back, like, totally cool. Like, this is none of my business. really lucky you stumbled upon me. I don't think you would have found your beginning all by yourself. You look familiar somehow. That depends. Are there many humanoid rabbits around here? I'm sure we shall meet again. Unless the fog thickens more. I can't see the hand in front of my face already. Well, there isn't one. Your hands are... Oh, I just vanished. Strange fellow. He reminds me of a character in one of my old tales. I hope he finds his way. Not even I could say where he'll end up if he doesn't. Or when, even. So, let's help his beginning along a bit. Ah, this beginning rhymes. I must note it down right away. After a long summer day in a place not far away, Jeremiah Hazelnut was tucked in bed to dream of the dream that he always had. Each night to his mother, Jerry did say, I want to be a magician one day. And each night she would reply, as mothers do, one day, sweet son, your dream will come true. And as mothers do, she whispers, Good night. Soon Jeremiah Hazelnut would sleep tight. And soon, very soon, as dreams sometimes do, the dream that he had would come true. Okay, that was a nice looking intro. Jerry! Uh, uh, yeah? What do you want, Mum? Wake up, sleepyhead! Oh, oh no! I, I, am I going to be late for school? Come outside and enjoy the sunshine! You don't want to sleep away your whole summer vacation, do you? Summer vacation? Jerry, school starts the day after tomorrow. You don't have to worry about your things until then. I still have two days before school starts. I've still two whole days of adventure left. Haha! <laughs> okay, can I do anything? Like we do every day with our morning calisthenics. It's our program. Start the day fit and cheerful. What 
on earth is this? Usually it's the top 40 playing all day long. The Crows must have overdone it yesterday. There's not a single one in the sky this morning. What a beautiful day. Crows? But don't just sit there and rust, or you'll just make it easier for them tomorrow. OK, follow my lead. If you don't want to listen to our program, then go ahead and start your day any way you like. Imagine a small X floating in the air. You can click on it to drop out at any time. Wow, when he says it like that, I can practically see the X floating in front of me. But why would you want to drop out? What? You think you already know everything? Yeah, smart Alex. Touch the radio. Imagine a mouse pointer. Move it to the radio and then click with the left mouse button. Okay, radio guy, I'm imagining a mouse pointer right here. Oh my god, it works. Good job. Well done. <laughs> Child's play. You can tackle anything just like that. Looking, talking, using, running around. Just click on it. One click. Everything is just one click. Yeah, yeah. Is this a sales presentation or what? Now, let's try it again. This time, talk to the radio. Yes, that thing where the voice comes from. Talk to the radio? Once again, just click on it. Just click on it. Uh, hello? Uh, hello? Hello, hello! You did very well. Thanks, but how? One click. Everything is just one click. Did you notice? How your muscles and sinews stretch when you click on something? Doesn't that feel good? He's right. I ought to do morning calisthenics more often. You're probably thinking, I ought to do morning calisthenics more often. Man, he's good. And you know what? What? You can. It's our program. Start the day fit and cheerful. And on we go. Some things can be looked at and picked up. That's good for the back. So keep looking at things and picking them up. Now find yourself an object to look at. Hmm. How about that basket on the windowsill? You already found something to pick up? Go ahead then. Okay, let's do as they say and get this empty basket. That's the way. That's good for the back. You are now carrying the basket. You open the inventory by scrolling down with the mouse wheel, or by pressing the I key. Man, oh man! Now, let's try it again. Have a peek in your inventory. Okay, let's take a look, so... Scroll down. Doesn't that feel good? Your inventory. You can carry a lot more around in here than you'd think. And carrying objects around is healthy. You can also look at them. To do that, click on them with the right mouse button. Ah, nice basket. Hey, looking with the right mouse button works really well. Looking with the right mouse button works really well, doesn't it? Absolutely. And now we'll try the left mouse button. Use the left mouse button to take items out of your inventory. Left click on the basket. Oh. Oops, the handle fell off. That isn't supposed to happen. Normally, you would just pick the basket back up. But don't panic. Remember, there are no problems, only challenges. You're bound to repair that basket in no time, for sure. Use the left mouse button to select items in your inventory. That will allow you to use them with other items in your inventory. Use one of the items with another one. That will get your circulation going. Oh, yeah. Guess I can just combine these. There! That wasn't so hard. True. It was easy. And do you notice how your pulse is calming? Feels good to repair something you broke, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. And now for the next step. You can also use items with your environment. Left click on the basket and then carry it out of your inventory by moving it past the inventory's edge. Or by pressing the I key. Or scroll up with the mouse wheel. Very good. Try showing the basket to a beloved family member. Hmm. Who should I show the basket to? I think your mother is hanging up the laundry in the meadow in front of the house. Man, he's good. Wow. It's as if he's talking to me. Use your basket with your mother by moving the basket to her and clicking the left mouse button. Okay, let's 
show it to my mother or his mother. Jerry, as you've got the basket. Yeah, and I didn't break it at all. That's fantastic. Could you go and pick some blackberries for me? For? For blackberry pie. Of course. Oh boy, pick blackberries, check. Congratulations! You've completed your fitness program for today. And remember, a simple leg cramp could cost you your life when you're fleeing from a wild crow. Huh? What's he talking about? Stay fit, stay cheerful. Mousewood Radio now continues with the Leaf Fall Report. Mousewood Radio? Huh, never heard of that. It must have something to do with sunspots. Okay, I guess we're done. Um, oh, do I get to keep the baskets? I guess I do. Okay, let's uh, take a look at this. Uh, okay, these are the things that we had before. Jerry's greatest dream is becoming a magician while he's asleep. Glowing red eyes watch him in the night. Only two days of summer vacation left. Adventure! Ho! A tasty slice of pie awaits Jerry, but for that his mother needs a basket filled with blackberries. Okay, resume game. Okay, now you have some more control. Let's start exploring. Uh, just look at the front door. Uh, my school stuff is in there waiting to be packed. But adventure awaits out here. At least until lunch. And at three, there's a new episode of Future Dogs with four-legged time travelers. Ooh, Future Dogs. That might be cool to watch. Dry as a bone. Hasn't rained for weeks. What a summer. Uh, can I look at these? Anything else? There's the radio. I don't need to use the radio now. Carrot bed. Can I get some carrots? I'll take one for later. They're supposed to be good for your eyes. And an adventurer like me needs to see everything. Hmm. Strange. Footprints. A large animal must have run through the carrots under my window last night. I'd say it was a mysterious, long-extinct mammal. The Gremlin Wolf. Ever since I became a junior member of the Jungle Explorers Club, my theories have sounded a lot more convincing. So much expertise for just 50 cents a month. Uh, a weathered statue, huh? We call that old rock the dwarf. Mum says it's been living here since long before we came. Oh, what? Please keep watching out for us, old dwarf. Did I pick something up? No. Ooh, strawberries. Mmm, sweetie, juicy. Jerry! I'm okay, Mum. I won't need them all. What? Jerry, I just want to remind you to pack your things for school tomorrow. Yeah, I'll do it. Cool. Huh. Uh, let's see. The hazelnuts mailbox. Is there any mail? Uh, empty. I think Mum already picked up the mail. Mm, what is this? Well, camouflage secret stash. Oh. Hmm. No marauding kids in sight. And also no sign of the gremlin wolf. <laughs> As usual, the coast is clear. My secret stash. Oh, I shudder to think what havoc my magical tools could cause in the hands of a lesser magician. The whole world would be in peril. What do we have here? Matches, firecrackers, and my gold coin. Let the adventure begin. Oh, ah, better not leave it open. You never know. Don't want the gremlin wolf to pick up my scent. Uh, so, just matchbook? Is there only one match? Coin with a hole and a decayed firecracker. Uh, it's not going to go bang anymore. The black powder's leaking out. Hmm. Charge defective. Blasting impossible. 
My lucky coin. I always use it to practice magic tricks. And one match. Only one match left. Looks delicious. Though personally, I'd prefer marzipan. Okay, I think we've looked at... Oh, an abandoned nest. Huh, sparrows used to live in that nest. Hmm, maybe we'll have eggs next spring. Mm, let's see, anything around here? I can talk to Jerry's mother. Oh, ripe red currants. Oh, 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 they look delicious. Stop eating everything. They're sour. Ugh. Why do red currants always trick me like that? Uh, it must be the bright red color. And can I? Oh, I'm going somewhere. Okay, doesn't tell me the destination. Can I look at this kite? No. Okay, let's talk to her for a bit. Mom. Yes. What, what was I supposed to pick for you? Um, it was raspberries, wasn't it? Blackberries, silly! Blackberries! Use the basket on the windowsill and don't just stick the berries in your pocket. I won't. Thanks! <laughs> Who says you can't teach a 12-year-old new tricks? Okay, I guess we needed the basket anyways, if we didn't do the tutorial. Okay, let's head on to adventure. <laughs> 